Your Excellency, President of the Republic of Uganda. Your Excellency, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania. Honorable Ministers from Uganda and Tanzania. The Executive Director of the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, President of Sinuk Uganda, CEO of Uganda National Oil Company, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's my immense pleasure and honor to be here with you today on this momentous occasion in the history of the friendship between Uganda and Tanzania, Total and Sinuk. I would say that I am very happy, personally, to be once again with all of you here in the Pearl of Africa, like a famous political leader said one day. But I'm also very happy uh, that President Museveni has selected this historic date of April 11th and convinced me to come and to share this historic date of, in fact, the common history between Tanzania and Uganda, and that on this opportunity invited His Excellency Samia Saru Hassan to join him here in Uganda. Really, this is a, a major, an historic milestone in the journey of the oral history, not only for Uganda and Tanzania, but for East Africa and for the world. And I would say that somebody wrote in my speech an incredible day. Maybe it would have been incredible two years ago, but thanks to your commitment, personal commitment, President Museveni, and I will always remember a famous night in November 19, when both we decided that we should make that project real. It took a little more time than expected by you because of COVID, but today we are here and we will are launching this project. It's a very large project, uh, one of the largest which will be developed on this continent. It represents an effort, an investment of more than $10 billion between the development upstream in Tilenga and Kingfisher and with the pipeline called IACOP. So again, thank you very much for your commitment. It would have not been possible without your personal involvement. And I would also say thank you to President Hassan, who has already demonstrated in a short tenure, is by your presence today and by your, your personal and positive decision about Tanzania participation to the IACOP project, that you have really an outstanding interest for these projects. Again, without both of you, without all persons in this room, this would not be possible. We have a lot, I would say this is an historic day, but and we must all enjoy it as I'm enjoying it, but uh, we should not forget that it's just the beginning of a journey because it will take five years before to see the oil flowing from Uganda to Tanzania, not four, not five, four, four years, sorry. I don't try to negotiate again. Early 2025. But, you know, this is where we'll spend this $10 billion, and we have to do it in an efficient way, like my colleague of Sinuk said, uh, together. It's not only the role of Total as operator, Sinuk as operator, and the joint company. This will be made possible to be efficient if we continue to demonstrate during the coming weeks, months, years, the same spirit of partnerships to find pragmatic solutions. When we begin to spend the money, we need action, and uh, negotiations have been long, too long maybe, but now we have put in place a solid framework. We should allow all of us together to deliver this project. With one objective again, to see the first oil tanker at Tanga in early 2025. I will not be long to remind as well as your Excellency Minister of Energy remind us that there are some specific and challenges because these are onshore projects. Onshore projects in our industry, offshore is much easier than onshore because onshore, of course, we have, we have to work on lands, 
We have to reclaim lands. We have to work with the population, local populations. We have to call, work with biodiversity. And I would say in your two countries, the biodiversity is quite unique. Uh, I speak Pearl of Africa for Uganda. I would remember that Tanzania is a country of king lion when I was young, you know, and is a country of Serengeti, of Kilimanjaro, of uh, Zanzibar, of course. All places which deserve, of course, that we take care of not only the natural resource, but also the way we will produce them environmentally and also taking care on the social impacts of these projects. Uh, these two projects, these projects, three projects, will deliver a lot of in-country value for both Uganda and Tanzania, but it will not be a success if we are not demonstrating that we are exemplary, exemplarity in terms of environmental preservation and also taking care of people because sustainable development is first and foremost a matter of people, people and local population and, of course, of local content of the projects. Uh, I think we will have an objective that at least 20% of all the spendings will be spent locally. Uh, and there is a lot of be done. And if we can do more, I can ensure, Mr. President, Mrs. President, that we'll do it for the benefit of all the pop of your population, your citizens, and your countries. I will not be longer. I've been a little longer already, but again, for me, personally, because I'm involved in this project for 12 years. I, be, I was young when I decided that Total should try to acquire some shares from Tulo. It was in 2009. Young, I'm not so old, in fact. Uh, it took quite a long time to be here today. And again, so it's with a certain patience and uh, enthusiasm that I attend this meeting. And uh, I would dare to ask both presidents to, to bring back to Paris a small souvenir on this historic program by asking them to put their signature so that I can show to the people of Total within the whole company that yes, we are building together the history of two countries, of our companies and Sinuk, with a friend of Sinuk. Thank you again to both, and I bring the program to you. I put the mask first. Thank you again. Thank you very much, Mr. Patrick Poyani. <laughs> Thank you, Excellencies. Thank you, Mr. Patrick Poyani, for those uh, remarks.